everyone welcome to my video interpretation of topographical map part 12 in this video we are going to learn the various conventional signs and symbols used to represent the different modes of transport in a topographical map now this is my second video on conventional signs and symbols so those are not watch the first video i strongly suggest you to watch topographical map part 11 and then come back so that you will have better clarity while watching this video now i repeat what i told in my previous video there are so many conventional signs and symbols so you need not by heart everything because for board exam they will be providing you with a topo map and below the sheet you can see all the conventional signs and symbols given so you need not by heart but i strongly suggest you to be familiar with these symbols so that it will save you a lot of time in the examination hall now these are the conventional signs and symbols that will be available below the topo map given during your board exam now there are four major modes of transport roadways railways airways and waterways let's see the conventional symbols for each and every one of them one by one first roads roads can be divided into two metal roads and unmetal roads metal roads are pakka roads or they are tar roads they indicate that there is straight development in the region and the color of the symbol used for a metal road in topo map changes as per its importance whereas unmetal roads are kacha roads that is they don't uh, they are not tar roads and they indicate that it is a village or a rural area or an undeveloped area now let's learn the different metal roads metal roads are divided into express highways national highways state highways and district roads now express highways are not found in our topographical map g43 s7 and g43 s10 the color of express ways is purple and the symbol will look like an equal to symbol in purple color now moving on to the next symbol national highway so this is a picture of a national highway and the symbol is magenta or red as you can see from this it will be written as nh and the number of that nh will be written national highway will be written in this case it is nh 168 and state highway the symbol will be just a line in orange color so this is an example of a state highway and in the topo map also you can see district roads they are connecting many districts district roads will be yellow in color now this is a picture showing the three important metal roads that are found in our topographical map like i told you before express highways are not there we have only the national highway the state highway and district roads there are some important symbols found along the road let's see the conventional symbols for each and every one of them one by one now this is a toll road where you have to pay for using the road and this is a symbol for a toll road this is a bridge you all know it is usually constructed across a road railway line or a river to pass through and this is a symbol for the bridge the red color symbol this is a topographical map showing you the bridge the bridge is on a district road you can see many bridges here wherever the dry streams are flowing this is called as a distance stone kilometer stone or milestone It shows you the distance between two places in kilometers and these stones have different colors based on in which highway they are located so this is a real picture of how it looks and this is how it looks in our topographical map you see this is a state highway and you can see the numbers in red color along the state highway starting from the bottom 171 172 173 174 and 175 so these are called as distance stones this is a picture of a pass it is a gap or a break in a high rajat terrain and the symbol for a pass is a black color x mark on the road if there is a black color x mark then it means there is a pass over there road on an embankment usually in a low lying land 
when they want to raise the height of the road so that it can be used for transport even during the rainy season a raised construction will be built to carry a road or a railway line and this is the symbol for a road on an embankment you can see the picture on the left you can see the road on an embankment on the right you can see a railway line on an embankment and this is how you will see it in a topographical map this is a state highway and these black lines on either sides of the road they indicate an embankment causeway this is a picture of a causeway yes at first sight it looks like a bridge but this is not a bridge this is a raised road usually built across a minor stream or a river and the main difference between a bridge and a causeway is these can be crossed only during the dry season because during the rainy season mostly it will be submerged under the water and this picture is from my hometown madurai it is called tarai palam because it is just close to the ground watch the floods this road will be completely submerged under the water and you cannot use it for transport this is a picture of a causeway in our topographical map as you can see this black line is a seasonal stream and this yellow color line is a district road so wherever the stream is cutting the road and if it is written as a causeway then it means that there is a low road to cross the seasonal stream now unmetal roads like i told these are unthar roads and they indicate that the area is a village area or a rural area or undeveloped area and this is a symbol used to indicate a unmetal road and this is how they look in our topographical map so what type of road is connecting settlement dan and idarla the answer is unmetalled road cart track as you can see from the picture this is a path used by bullock carts don't write as car track it is cart the cart indicates bullock cart and the symbol is just a single red line from dangrali you can see two roads going towards the south and east so these are cart tracks the pack track this is path made by constant use by animals usually when people herd animals uh, automatically when the animals walk a natural path is created this is called as pack track and this is a symbol for pack track just a red color dash 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 symbol and this is how it looks in a topographical map footpath this is a temporary path made by constant use by humans and they are usually found in hilly or a forest area and the symbol is just red color dots and this is how it looks in our topographical map as you can see from the map this is a forest area fairly dense mixed jungle with bamboo is written here and as you can see from the contour lines this is a hilly area so you cannot construct metal roads over here so we have a foot path here it is just broad enough for people to walk now there is a board exam question why don't we see metal roads here or what is the reason for the absence of good roads in this part of the map as so we can see only footpath over here contour lines represent it is a hilly area it's also written as protected forest and fairly dense mixed jungle with bamboo so we know it is a forest area so since it is a dense forest and a hilly area we don't see metal roads or good roads over here that is the answer and i always tell my students to remember unmetal roads are usually red in color all the unmetal roads starting from car track pack track footpath everything is red in color now here is a gist of all the symbols that we have learned next coming to railways now these are the three important symbols that are present in our icse topographical maps when it comes to railways before i explain these three let us see what is a gauge so railway gauges in india can be divided into four i think you will be learning all this in detail in the theory part under transport chapter so i'm not going to explain so much usually a gauge is the distance between the inner faces of 
two rails and for our exam we have broad gauge and this is a symbol for broad gauge and for our topographical maps in only one map we have this railway symbol that is near chitrasani settlement we have a western railway main line so this is a symbol for a broad gauge now these symbols are not found in our icsc board topo maps the first one is for other gauges that is meter gauge uh, narrow gauge all that if there is a double line then this is a symbol and if there is a single line then this is the symbol and tramways tramways are very very popular in west bengal especially kolkata so this is a picture of a tramway and this is a symbol used for tramway and broad gauge when it is under construction this is a symbol that is used now railway line with a railway station again near chitrasani settlement this is present in our topographical map it is written with a letter rs rs stands for railway station so this is a railway line with a railway station next is cutting with the tunnel so this is a picture of a tunnel in the border of kerala and tamil nadu and this is the symbol used for a cutting with tunnel and in our topographical map again near chitrasani settlement in that western railway main line you have this cutting with a tunnel next we move on to waterways now all these symbols are not there in our icsc topographical maps because we do not have coastal areas in our maps g43 s7 and g43 s10 so just for your understanding i am going to quickly show pictures of all these so this is a symbol for a lighthouse and this is a symbol for a light ship for lighted and unlighted buoys and the anchorage next we move on to airways and these two symbols for airways are also not found in our topographical maps so the first symbol is an aerodrome the second symbol the symbol for a helipad if you happen to see this aerodrome or helipad symbol do let me know in the comment window now let's see some revision questions try to complete these questions in 5 minutes and then check your answers i hope you have completed so here are the answers we have come to the end of the video i hope you are very clear with the concept and i would like to insist on this do learn only what is there in the syllabus do refer the council website cisce.org org in that website the syllabus is given so every time when you prepare for the examination make sure that you learn only what is there in the syllabus some symbols are not present in our map that is g43 s7 and g43 s10 so learn only what is there in the syllabus and leave the rest so thank you for watching my video do like share and subscribe to my channel see you in my next video until then bye bye